Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Actually, for some of you, it might be early evening. So Foodie Beauty just went live. Uh, so I want to join the live in progress uh, because it is alive and she's not done yet, not even close. The chat is not going to match, but the reason why I'm covering it now is because I've got some things to do. I can't wait on Foodie to be done with her live and then wait an additional two or three hours for the chat to process. I mean, I'm just, nobody has that kind of time. So before Foodie went live about less than an hour ago, she did a community post saying that she was gonna go live and if anybody stream sniped, she was gonna cut off her live. You know what I say to that? Go for it, go for it, Foodie. Cut off your live because this is how you make money. Your lives are how you make money. So by cutting off your lives, you're not really hurting the reactors, you're hurting yourself more because that means no Google AdSense money for you, no membership signups for you, no super chats for you. So you thinking you're gonna punish the reactors, you're definitely punishing yourself more. You're cutting off your nose despite your face. So I'm joining the live now, not knowing what's gonna happen, so let's just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see and hear everything. One moment, please. So there's Miss Foodie. As I said, the chat and, and what's going on here is not gonna match because we are about five minutes behind. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Well, the next time when someone comments, it might pop up again. But like. When I put it on live chat, like all the chat disappears. It's so weird. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Whenever you, I see your comments, anyways, I, just, oh. I wanted to keep it down, but it's annoying. Um, Make it more fun. Because you're so tall. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. You know, I don't know what's going on with Salah. He seems like he's under the weather or he doesn't feel good or he's tired. He just seems like his energy is off tonight. Hey, Aisha. I saw Rhonda before it cut out. I think she's here. Norma Jean, all the Beezers. Yeah, Lynn, you're free. Salam, Aisha. <laughs> um, Hello, Beezers. I knew Flaubert would, I'm like, what? So they're gonna all ask that hmm. barbecue. Night. I mean, what do you guys think in my audience? Does he look annoyed? He either looks annoyed or very tired. He just doesn't seem like he's very happy today. Dog, what's up, Lisa? A plus. Not me. A plus. <laughs> Tracy. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Vinegar. Hi. P and V. <laughs> Black Steos. Blacks. Hi, Blacks. I'm resting, feeling a little bit under the weather. Something is going around for everybody. Um, just let us. I'm gonna set up the food because I'm so hungry. Um, it's like. Is today Saturday or Friday? Juma today. Friday, no, it's, uh, we entered the Saturday. Yeah, but it was Juma, like, and so it's busy, the restaurant, so we had to wait a while for the food, but yeah, um, bread bowl soup is gonna be underway. We're gonna eat our dinner on camera because I like to eat on camera, you know that. Of course you do, because you cater to the feeders. That's exactly why you eat on camera, because that's how you make your money, both on and off YouTube. You're monetizing your ED. Hence the reason why I say you will never get any better. You will never get any healthier because how can you possibly get healthier if you take something that's a problem and you're making money with it? Not yet. Happy V day. They asked if I took my Shahada. Hi, Idaho Jesse. Uh, Lulu, 3 a.m. dinner bees. Helen, you haven't been sick in years. Good for you. Good morning, Beezers. Good morning. <laughs> and now what time? I just got private word that a few people are live and sniping her. So let's just see if she cuts this off. True. That's how it has to be. Like, cause you guys are never online. Like, you know, I went on your TikTok and liked all your videos. The food looked amazing. The cheese chicken sandwich thing was so good. I asked Sala to like, he's like, what do you want me to bring you for lunch? And he brought me this uh, thing, that sandwich. <laughs> Georgia girl. Hey, welcome to Very Important Beach. We're ready to sit peace. <laughs> he has tired eyes. 
Yeah, he's still recovering from. Uh, <laughs> they say he looks sleepy. I think he looks. He looks sleepy. Oh, you were falling asleep earlier. Remember? Okay. You know, I don't know if Sala is tired or sick or both. But if he is tired, if he is sick, it's kind of inconsiderate to make him come on camera, Foodie. Because I've been tired and I've been sick and you don't want to be on camera in front of people. You just want to be laying in bed. If this is supposed to be your husband, at least the husband that you'll have until you leave, I would be concerned about their comfort as well as my own. Like going up to them, are you okay? Do you want to just lay in bed right now? Uh, go ahead and lay in bed. You don't have to come on live with me. But not you. He has to be there on your live, even though clearly he's not in the mood to be so. Yeah, almost. <laughs> now, here's why we're a perfect match, guys. <laughs> because <laughs> he likes the leg, and I like the breast on the chicken, so we're going to eat. So there's like four reactors that are live right now, sniping her. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm not that hungry, by the way. But, uh... Yeah, I know. I'm always more hungry than you. <laughs> match boost. You know, I love it when she says, oh, we are going to eat on camera, but it's not really him eating on camera. It's her. It's you on camera eating foodie. Jenny, you was... <laughs> um, I'm missing some comments. During Ramadan eating at 3 a.m. Oh, sorry, Lynn. Where do you set rebies? Flavera in Arabic. I don't know what they said. <laughs> No sense. I don't know what's the meaning, <laughs> even in Arabic. Flop. The, the translator is uh, weird. Are you using it? Yeah, he's using a she. I don't know. They're using. I'm so ready for some good food. Let me open the chat from here. I can't see there. Yeah, I know. See, it's like far away. Boobush Kila. <laughs> you don't like the raisins that much, eh? So I'll eat the raisins on this side. and you, you know, all the people that are in Chantal's chat that are acting like snitches and telling Chantal that people are sniping, you guys are just hurting your own stream. Because Foodie said in her community post, if anybody's sniping, she's going to cut the stream off. So <laughs> if you think that by being a snitch, you're getting back at the reaction channels. If she gets mad and she cuts the stream off, then that means you guys don't get to talk either. So you might not want to snitch. <laughs> I'm gonna put the dakus. <laughs> it's uh not me, yeah, a support dry t shirt. <laughs> the KFC here is so good. I saw someone comment not me on KFC. So good. Here you can have that. Um, let me get a few bites in before I say anything. Let's avoid those few bites. bites. Mm hmm Mash boost bite. <laughs> King bees your bite. Mm -hmm. Like it. Buzz for this year. I must add, I love how the bum showed his true sign. <laughs> Thank you, Norman Jean. Thank you for the super chat. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> um, we don't really like, we've decided not to pay attention to those idiots. Like anything I do will be in like secret from now on, but. You're not paying attention to the reactors yet. You specifically put a community post saying, if anybody snipes my stream, I'm going to cut it off. That was directed entirely at the reactors. So you are giving us attention, Chantal. Um, I find it disgusting that like YouTube doesn't do anything about it. Oh, shut up. I'm disgusted that you've done all the things that you've done on your channel and you haven't suffered the repercussions that you should, that YouTube took away your channel and then they gave it back. I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted by you getting on your YouTube channel and flashing parts of your body that nobody asked to see coming on camera high and drunk doing the finger guns, saying the R word, being racist. Yeah, I'm offended by all of that and more, but yet YouTube let you stay. Yet you're gonna be offended 
by people simply reacting to you. Are you kidding me? Delicious. <laughs> Tabula. You got a real man. Tabula. Oh, yeah. Let me know if it's good. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm already loving your hair that you're growing out. Hmm. Inshallah, it will be longer, more. That's it, Sala. Butter her up. Butter her up. Payday is coming in a few days. Butter her up. Get that last paycheck before she's gone. Mm. It's growing so You fast. look like a, a Arab Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce when, you Lee. when you show me your kung fu moves. My idol. Yeah. Piercings, yeah, typically are head on. Can Sala give a beauty bite? See, you look hotter with your hair. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, no feeding. <laughs> Okay, here's the soup. Let's let's share this. Yummy. First bite for King Weezer. Okay. <laughs> and this comment by Barbecue Nob saying, so loser face flashes a pipe, and nobody's talking about that, but they all are gonna snipe this. We already talked about it. You know, you're late to the party, barbecue. We already talked about it. Check out the reaction channels. You've already we, it's on Twitter. What do you mean? But the bread is good. We call it in Arabic, uh, shorbat adas. Shorbat adas? Yeah. Shorbat is mean soup. Oh, shorbat? Adas, the lentil. Kuwaiti Panera. <laughs> mm. Sorry. What? You know, Fodi is deliberately eating out of that bread bowl because she knows that it's triggering people. Because if there's one thing that Fodi does not need, it's cheese and bread. She's doing it on purpose. She could easily put that soup in a regular soup bowl. That would be more appropriate, but she's purposely ordering the bread bowls because it caters to those stupid feeders on her channel. We're really hungry. So what's new guys? I tell you when you live your life and just be happy, Life is so much more peaceful. Don't you agree? <laughs> I just drink uh, Red Bull and some juice. <laughs> Forget everyone. Yeah. Ne negative only. I love how you drink Red Bull. <laughs> You're so cute. No, you don't have Red Bull in the fridge. We have Code Red. Code Red tastes better, I find. Mm. Oh, Foodie's going to get mad. I just found out FFG went live. <laughs> I love that the most for her. Mm. Babe, yeah. tissue, please. Absolutely. So, okay, let me let me just eat. Well, hurry up and eat. Then you can run your mouth. Keep the bird pool for Harry to have his bath. <laughs> Hubby and you had lunch at Disneyland. The Disney vloggers are out of control. Oh my gosh, I bet. Sounds like a nightmare. I used to love Disney. Like I went as a kid and I've always wanted to go back, but now not somewhere I really want to travel. So Sal is severe. Term do you have are you, you're not addicted to Mountain Dew? Do you really love Mountain Dew or yeah? Sometimes with the food only, not like uh, every one hour. <laughs> yeah, like some people drink like liters of it a day. Oh. I also just got private word from friends who are watching. Frenchie just went live and she's got over a thousand people in her room and Chantal's got 678. I love that for her. It's, uh, the soda, like if you drink too much soda, it's uh, not good for you. It's harmful. Yeah, mm. it's unhealthy. But uh, we drink it. I have uh, to stop tomorrow. Yeah, not every time. Um, <laughs> like maybe once a day. Yeah, yeah, like with our main meal or whatever. Mm. Like this is our <laughs> new Salah. You welcome. Ready said these. Nice uh, about them. I'm trying to catch up. Well, I'm sorry if all my scooting forward. I just trying to catch up. I just think it's wrong that they like can't effing wait to. Woo! There we go. We're getting to the juicy stuff. Let's let's go. 
go live. Like the, the people saying, no, no, stay. <laughs> Breezy, go put your kids to bed. Don't you have something better to do? No, you have something better to do? And to sit there and go live and eat? Nobody wants to see you eat. Oh, God. You know, you, she talks about fake outrage. I think she's doing fake outrage right now. Oh, I so hate the reaction channels. I so hate them. I hate it when they snipe me. Outrage, outrage, fake outrage. She wants us to cover her. I, I don't know why she just can't come out and admit it. <laughs> you can strike them for what? For nothing, they don't have anything. <laughs> Pathetic. I need to make a part two of that song. <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth, like, do you know what I mean? No, I don't. Are you allowed to stream snipe movies when they're live? No, we're you know what? Let's get this straight, foodie. Pull up a chair and get schooled. Class is in session. What people do on YouTube is not stream sniping. That is a gamer term. You have a man in your life who's a gamer. He should know this. He should teach you this. Stream sniping is a gamer term that happens on Twitch. It's a gamer term. You're not a gamer. You're not playing a video game. What people are doing is restreaming and restreaming is not against TOS on YouTube. So stop saying stream sniping. What's going on here is not stream sniping. If you're gonna complain about something, use the right words. You're not like, whether I have 93,000 subscribers or it's a movie or whatever, it's still entertainment. And, you know. Like, I can't stand Breezy. Why would I want her to stream snipe and like leech off my content? Just you, you, can't, you don't like Breezy, you don't have to like her. You don't like FFG, you don't have to like her. We don't have to be friends. We don't have to go shopping together and go to tea. You don't have to like any of the reactors. You stay in your corner. We will stay in ours. You do your thing. We'll do ours. It's as simple as that. You don't have to be friends with any of us, Bodhi. None of us. Just stay in your corner and do what you do and we'll do what we do. Just so you can get a vegan box and like feed your kids. Like get a life and get a job. Okay. You get a job. Yeah. Take your bite. I hold it, don't worry. Okay. Yeah. I'm nervous, babe, but I don't want to spill it. No, no, no. It's delicious. You like it? Yeah, of course. Hey, you should just breathing leave us to be, I'm sure you have better things to do, like call the cops. Yeah. Curvy Mama, welcome to Very Important Bees. Here's Risha Bees. <laughs> It's insane, Aisha. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. I don't know. These people, like, they don't have anything to do. They have no life. Uh, like, no life? Well, no, but they have kids. She has a kid. Seriously, let's think. Fodi, listen, no parent shaming. If you feel like coming for Breezy or FFG, if you got something to say about them, fine. They're on their YouTube channels. They put themselves on the public platform. Talk about them, but don't mention the kids. Keep the kids out of it. They're not part of this. You're doing it to be extra insulting and extra mean. Not cool. Not cool. If the shoe were on the other foot, and if you had children, you wouldn't want somebody attacking your children, especially if you did not put them on your channel. So have some decency and respect if you know what those two things mean. I think in our world here, they, nobody is talking like this or doing like this reaction channels and talk about any, every one minute of the other life mm. come on yeah and i heard her like fat shame me over and over and it's like you're a Some, parent so you have like yeah, something make me like feel disgusting about these people really sala she's got you so snowed in over there or you're getting paid to say this i don't know which of the two apply to you sir but listen you are a paid companion to foodie that's obvious because she sent you nine thousand canadian dollars which translates to 2,200 dinar of your money. She paid you to spend time with her. 
So you want to come at us reactors and say that we're sad and pathetic. You're the one putting up with this beast for money in person. I know. I know. Look, I don't know. That, that's what that's like. It's not that I'm like being a baby, but honestly, it's to the point where it's like, <sighs> it's just not enjoyable for me anymore. Like, then quit. Then quit. So tired of your whining. So tired of your complaining. You are not thankful for what you have. And you're not thankful for the people that come to your channel and give you views and buy the memberships and give you the super chats. You are an ungrateful person. You're spoiled, rotten. You got that entitled attitude and it's disgusting. Do you know how many people out there work hard for their money? They have regular day jobs. They have to get up early in the morning and they're out all day until late afternoon or late at night and they come home exhausted and they don't make the money that you do and all you have to do is sit on your channel in comfort and do whatever it is you want to do whenever you want to do it. You are not grateful for what you have and you should be. Um, knowing that there's like somebody stream uh, using your content. <clears throat> somebody called the way ambulance. We have a patient that needs to be picked up. <clears throat> to call you names, like how you smell, um, what you do in the bedroom. Like there's an obsession, a weird obsession with our our sex life. And what sex life? And our <laughs> you spent your wedding night raging on your community post and then in a live stream. What sex life? If you guys were the happily married couple, foodie, we wouldn't have heard from you for a week. And you would have had a smile on your face and walking funny. But you weren't doing none of those things. You have been nothing but mad since you've gone to Kuwait. Intimate life and what we do in the bedroom. When the, when people have no idea, it's just so weird. Anyway. No, we have an idea. So, uh, you know. can we see uh, their sex life, for example, if they're talking about the others? Yeah. They're so pathetic losers and really idiots. Nothing it's, more to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Sim I mean. Simply. Right. They are like parasites. <laughs> I don't know. It's if we're parasites and you're a tick, you're an overfed tick and you look like one too. Yeah, I said it. Y'all Google pictures of an overfed tick. It'll look really similar to foodie. She's an overfed tick. I've been sucking too much of, of the host blood, the point where she can't bring up anymore. She can't take it anymore. You're an overfed tick that attached itself to YouTube and the public on YouTube sucking off all their resources, all their money, because you don't want to go out and find your own. It's like a kid's mentality. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. It is. Come on, grow up, Reaction Charles. Re grow up. Use this, use it. The brain. I, I, uh, I don't... Sala, you are no one to tell other people what they should do with their lives. I don't know what your situation is, sir. I'm not one to shame people for their finances, but what kind of desperation were you involved with that you signed on to be on this channel with Foodie? Like who would do that? You're supposed to be a professional businessman, have your act together, blah, blah, blah. But why would somebody who's professional that has their act together even want to deal with Foodie for five minutes? You've been dealing with her for three months. Answer that. I'm not sure that you have it at all, anyway. <clears throat> I know your English is limited, but whatever you just said made total, total, total sense. The they got my meaning. Yeah, anyway, exactly. Who cares about What do you mean his English is limited? He speaks just fine. Stop shaming him for his speech, Booty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> I don't care. I just, like, think it's wrong that they, they think they can just, like, steal people's content, right? Like... Nobody's stealing it from you. It's still on your channel. You're if still able to make money. Nobody's taking that away from you. The only thing that we do as reactors is give people a choice of where they want to watch it and how much they want to be entertained. It's up to the viewer to decide what they want to do. People should be allowed to have a choice, Booty. And if people are not coming to your channel to watch you directly, what you need to do is sit down and say, why? Why aren't people coming directly to me? Where are they going over there? What are they doing that I'm not doing? What do they have that I don't have? Sit down and take some notes. Do some homework. School yourself. 
then your channel might improve. Get a life. <clears throat> Hello, Beezers. Hi, Girl Sip. What's a designer puppy? Flavina uh, <clears throat> said, Salah, my hair is going to be a little bit. What a favorite song to your wife? Laura T. Bidolib Elbu. Bionic Kaman. Watch her face. Make your whole baby ever dash and. For a George West of Syrian singer. We love listening to that in the car, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> now, whenever I see these two together, I just get this vibe of two people that are nothing alike. They have nothing in common. Having to sit next to each other and make conversation. There's this awkward vibe between them. It's just, it's uncomfortable. Do you know why I feel <clears throat> like... I want to bunch some reaction channels like, like this <laughs> in their face. <laughs> like this. Box them? Yeah. <clears throat> what are those boxing gloves? Yeah, it's my boxing For your gloves. Kung Fu? Mm. Kung Fu boxing. Show I know Flop Bear, I show them. Hey Sala, question, sir. You said that you study Kung Fu. I think that's great. But Kung Fu is about discipline. So what are you doing hanging around with somebody who has no discipline? What's with that? The nunchucks. Nunchucks? Is that what it's called? What do you call them in Arabic? I don't know. Nishako. Nishako? Mm. You had to use those before? Oh, I was pro in it. <laughs> I, now I know some. What awards did you win in, in, in Kung Fu? You know, I don't like what I'm seeing in the chat. I'm seeing people that are food stamp shaming. There's nothing wrong. If you're someone and you need food stamps or you're using food stamps, that's nothing to be ashamed of. But they're trying to do the food stamp shaming. Y'all are wrong for that. Flexing. <laughs> well, it's my game. It's your game? Everybody have uh, his own field. But you like want to feel, you showed me a picture where you had all these medals on your shirt for winning. Three medals. Mm -hmm. Like black belts or? I have but the, the black belt uh, when I was in high school and the uh, first year of mm -hmm. the college. Mm -hmm. uh, in these three, three years, I was every day Kung Fu always. Girl Sip, it's been longer, but eh. Oh, what, uh, loyalty bees there. Thank you, Girl Sip, pretty Sip BBs. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah. Hey, we played that game, remember? Donatello, Michelangelo, um, <laughs> Raphael, and Leonardo. Who's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? No? Mm, before it was Raphael, but then Donatello. Hmm. Raphael is the purple one, huh? Raphael, the red. <laughs> oh. What's this, the villain's name? B Box and Rock Steady? Previous. It was just harassment at this point. Like to purposely go live when I'm live. How is it harassment? How is reacting harassment? We stay on our channels. We do our live streams, or in my case, I do my recorded videos. I don't go to Chantal's channel. I don't get up in our VIB chat and say ugly things. Neither do any of the reactors, but this one, this person right here, she has no problem using a bazillion sock accounts and going to all the reactors chats and lurking and spying and seeing what's going on. And sometimes she says ugly things. Sometimes she goes to their comment sections. So she wants to talk about harassment. At the same time, she openly harasses people. People are just insane. Some people are counting down the days I'm going home, like. Yes, we are, ma'am, that's true. I actually think that the date you gave us is wrong. I think you're coming home earlier than that. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll apologize. I'll admit that I'm wrong. 
but I just, I have that gut feeling that says you're coming home earlier just so you could make a pit stop at Natter's house to get some party favors before you go home. Because we all know in the past, he was the one that sold you the party favors. That was your hookup. <clears throat> like you, like people think I'm going to magically just like forget about you and go back to wheelchairs and everything. They yep. That's exactly what's going to happen. You know what? I take that back. I don't think you're going to forget about Sala. I think you're going to stay in touch with him because he's a younger man. He's decent looking. I think you're going to try to keep your claws into him. Even after you leave, you might send him money. You might talk to him. I've told you guys on my channel, nobody escapes Chantal until she lets you go. Does anybody think she's going to let him go? No. She's going to try to control him with money and with promises, even when she gets back to Canada. No, she's not going to let him go. But one thing she will not have is control of him. The moment she gets on that plane, that control is over. He'll be able to go out, do what he wants, talk to whoever he wants. He's going to have a lot more freedom. And there's also going to be the moment and the chance for the family and friends to get to him and say, hey, dude, let's straighten your head out. I think I'm as fake as they are. Mm -hmm. No. Just let them talk and think what they want. And live your life, Don't right? care about them. <laughs> we are so happy. Yes. No, Tracy, I don't watch CJ. I will watch to see what you say. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. I think I'm going to do like, I don't know. I feel like just doing videos for a while. I feel like I don't, I'm talking. No, you don't. You don't feel like doing videos. You do videos because you're having a little temper tantrum. You don't like doing videos, Chantal. You don't like doing work. And videos require work. They require doing the footage, cutting it down, editing, making the thumbnail. You don't want to be bothered. Tell the truth. You don't like doing videos. You don't make as much money doing videos. The videos you've been making lately are not getting much in the way of views. You prefer the lives because you make more money. And it's easy to just turn on a camera and let it run and let your mouth run. Stop with the nonsense. You don't like doing videos. You think by doing videos, you're punishing all of us. You're not. You're punishing yourself. But if that's what you want to do, go ahead. Go ahead. Make that che make paycheck even smaller. I'm tired of vultures. How about the visas? They want to see you live. I know. <laughs> and I miss you guys too. That's why I end up always going live because I miss teasing. <laughs> I miss visas. It's like, why can't I just like have my own existence on YouTube without like, why can't YouTube do something about? Because Chantal, this is a public platform. You chose a public platform to make money. You wanted to make money off the public. This is not a private platform. If you were on a private platform and people were accessing your information illegally and hacking, you would have a reason to complain. But as long as you're in front of the public, wanting money from the public hey it is what it is just deal with it stop whining such a toxic community like preying on the same person who's preying on you i don't like that language you're using i don't like that language you're using no nobody's preying upon you nobody's a predator here although you might be as a matter of fact you are you seek out men that you could take advantage of there i said it and it's true. You do. You don't look for men who have their own job, their own money, can stand on their own two feet. You look for guys that are needing money. You insert yourself into their lives. And you weave your little web to where they can't escape you. You're a predator. This is what my point is. Like, why do I have to be okay with that? Like, it doesn't happen to anyone else online. Chantal, YouTube is not your company. You are not the CEO. You're not the owner. Therefore, you don't get to make the rules. If you're walking onto this platform, which belongs to somebody else or a group of people, you don't get to make the rules. So stop throwing your temper tantrums. Be happy and grateful that you're on YouTube making money, which by the way is an American company. You're Canadian. You and Pete's like to, com to complain about America, 
but YouTube is an American company. So be grateful to get on the internet and make money the way that you do. On, on YouTube, like it's ridiculous. <clears throat> Tracy, really? <laughs> play music? I don't have music. He's not going to play music because of copyright. If you're a reactor, if you're a person on YouTube, period, and you play copyrighted music or shows in your video and then try to upload it, you've got the little bots and checkers that if they find it, they will take away the monetization or they'll limit it depending on how much you have. Oh, it's not copyrighted. Hi, Freya. <clears throat> I bought this guitar, but I don't know uh, how to play with it. Actually. So what was the point of buying it? It, it? Just to buy an instrument, you don't even know how to play it, you're not interested? <laughs> make it make sense. Really? Mm -hmm. I was about to like start to practice or learn something. That's another thing. Can I ask you this, Sala? You're supposed to be a musician and you love gaming. In the two or three months that Chantal has been there, how much music have you actually been able to create? How much content for your gaming channel? I can already answer that for you. None. Everything the two of you have done has revolved around her and her making money and then giving it to you. She's promoted your gaming channel, but there's really nothing to look at. And you really haven't worked on your music so it's like everything about you that you are interested in that might make money for you by yourself she's not helped you with that she's not promoting that it's all about just do for me and be with me on camera and do the couple vlogs it's all have been about her so it's been all to her benefit and not to yours so if you hooked up with chantal because of all her promises and you thought by hooking on to her that would give exposure for your channel it really hasn't helped your gaming channel at all or your music. Thank you. Oh no. Whatever you learned. So, it's me correct. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy. Dust mites. I have two guitars and <clears throat> ukulele and can't play any any of them. <clears throat> Oh, ukulele. Piano. Aisha. Interesting. We have a ukulele, Aisha? Ukulele. Play my neck, my back. <laughs> no. <laughs> How, um... How is dinner? Sherry, ask you. Very good. And eat, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. What? Mm, I just like to eat the uh, tabula. What about the soup? Maybe. <laughs> How, um... They're literally oh, wishing oh. upon your downfall. Karma is a, yeah, exactly. Yeah, hey, that's that's not, you're not wrong. A lot of people have invested a lot of time in watching your content, Chantal, and they've seen all the awful things you've done. Everybody's just waiting around to see if karma is actually gonna, you know, give you the knockout punch. I've seen karma at work in little ways with what's going on with you. It's, it's working on you slowly. You know, your house of cards is slowly coming down, but everybody's waiting around to see if something significant will happen. But you know what? As far as you and your channel, it doesn't matter. You're still doing your content. You're still making your money. What do you care what we say or what we do over here? Stop coveting what other people have. Stop pocket watching. You'll be a lot happier. What are we eating tonight? It's a uh, machboos uh, chicken. Machboos is a uh, kind of uh, Kuwaiti style of rice with a uh, lentil. <laughs> so somebody sent a super chat saying 2300 at FFGs. Bloop. <laughs> and Chantal's getting 647 people watching her. Soup with tabula as a salad. Mm. And uh, the pus uh, soup. A uh, sauce. Yeah. Yeah. The post sauce, it's about um, tomato with some garlic, maybe. Yeah. It's, uh, red sauce. Yeah. Red sauce. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Sorry. You would think by now people would realize by now they say you can't and you always do. 
People forget that every time. <laughs> exactly. But I'm, I guess I, I, you know, people are like stream sniping because like I heard through the grapevine that they're using like old content, like old streams from like two mm. years ago. No, it's it's not just that, booty. It's not just that, darling. It's because if there's anything spicy, we know more than half the time you dirty delete. So we have no choice. Either we gotta, we have to, you, uh, you with the incorrect terms, it's restreaming. Can you please get it right? Sala, Sala, Sala. You're sitting right next to Chantal. You're a gamer. Can't you correct her? Can you not correct your woman? Can you not correct what she's saying? It's re streaming if there's anything spicy that happens on your channel chantal we can either have to record what's going on with Streamyard or something or you got to go live and cover it then because you like to dirty delete things if you didn't dirty delete we might wait our turn at the table but with you if there's something good going on something interesting something beyond a boring video we got to capture it when it's happening or else we're not going to get it and people are interested in what's going on. So here we are. Here I am. So boring. It's the same what they say every time. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Salah's just like, just for, live your life, man. Just forget about it. And I try and to, to be positive, you know, and just like, no, you don't. live my life. But... At the same time, for me, it's the principle of the matter, you know? Oh, shut up. Okay, the rice is like. <clears throat> Chantal, nobody wants to see your food. It's just food. Why are you holding it up? Are you holding it up for the feeders? You're holding it up for the feeders so they can see what you're eating. I don't know. It's like saffron basmati mixed with white basmati. It's like buttery. And there's like raisins and like little. Chantal, you've eaten it before on camera. This is nothing new to us. You've eaten that before nuts or lentils or something in it um in english right oh, it's so good tracy it's so good raisins, raisins. yeah there's yeah. raisins but there's there's nothing else in it uh with um like lentils no sometimes uh there's a kind of uh meal with uh... you know sala's got to be so tired of watching her eat of her wanting to eat all the time. She constantly has to have food and just talking about food all the time. You know that poor man is tired. With some nuts. Mm. Mm. And almonds. Yeah. Almonds. Yeah. But depend on the restaurant, depend, uh, depend on the meal. Yeah, I don't like the wheels. Unless you have a past, like you know. What has happened doesn't matter. We are moving forward. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're moving forward. You'll be moving forward in about nine days to the airport. <laughs> and then he'll be moving forward to his friend's house to go party. I mean, Tracy, that's why it looks so good. <sighs> My pimple healing, yeah. What yeah, it looks pimple? good, huh? <clears throat> that ain't a pimple. Looks really good. You're always beautiful, baby. With pimple oh, or without God. I'm just gonna gag. I want to gag. You always look beautiful, baby. Oh, really, Sala? Then why is it you make a point to eye screw yourself in the camera? You never look at her if you really feel that way. Pimple. Thank you. And nobody <laughs> has the rights to judge you. I mean we how how far are we into this live stream about 49 minutes have we seen sala look at chantal much no he looks straight at the camera he doesn't look at her when he's talking to her he doesn't look at her he looks at the camera but they're so in love y'all such a passionate couple these two are yeah i get pimples because like i use my 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 collagen lip enhancer it really irritates my lips sometimes and also like i shave Tracy, I still use that thing from Amazon you suggested, and I get pimples from it. Like, 
Yeah, okay. Chantal, I've seen pimples and I've seen acne. You don't get pimples and acne directly on your lips. You don't get one pimple on top and one pimple, a big one, directly on your lip, ma'am. It's annoying. And we are moving forward far forward from the idiots that looked like in the past with them down. Yeah. It's just annoying, like, hearing people like, yeah, but for example, like, I hate to give her attention, but, like. I hate to give her attention, but I'm about to give her attention. Go ahead, Chantal. Calling me, like, uh, morbidly obese, like, lady, you're, like, my size. Uh, where's the lie in that? You you know what? You're not morbidly obese. You are super morbidly obese. But even if she said morbidly obese, how is she wrong? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Even if she said oh, obese, where is the lie? You are obese, Chantal. You're obese. Is or not far off. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So when you're saying I can't get a man, you're saying you can't either then. Like, if you're basing it off that logic. Who is, who is this? Yeah, but. Just a dumb reaction, Cheryl. Like a southern, like from southern US, like she knows anything about the Middle East at all. And she there you go, insulting southern people. You assume everybody in the United States is a hillbilly. And if we were, is that a bad thing? Okay, what's wrong with hillbillies? Hillbillies are some of the nicest people. I've met some, and I've met some country people. My family was Southern. Say something to me. Say something to me, Chantal. Say something to me. You swear everybody in the United States is dumb and ignorant, and you say... You try to insult us and say we're hillbillies. You try to make being Southern or being a hillbilly into an insult. That just doesn't work. That just does not work, ma'am. She hasn't even probably left her country. Like, <laughs> Trump supporter kind of like woman. Because uh, last week I saw a, a trash bin. It's called on it, uh, Yaba. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wallah. No way. I swear. That's funny. There you go. In the supermarket. Okay, yellow? Yeah, yellow. Let's do it. Yellow. Let's do it. <laughs> Notice he's touching Chantal, but he's got gloves on. <laughs> That's the only way he's going to touch you with the gloves on. Put up your dukes. Good luck. I, I don't want to hurt you with this. this one is so, like, um, not heavy, not uh, strong. You used to punch look. people in the face with this? Mm -hmm. You know, this super chat, this person saying FFG used to show her face but couldn't handle the heat. Sometimes us reactors, it's not about we're ugly or there's anything hideous going on in the background. And that's the reason why we're not showing our face. Sometimes it's just comfortable to do a react video and not have to worry about the stupid camera. There's lots of beautiful reactors in the community. But Chantal, she desperately wants the reactors to go on camera because she wants to have a reason to insult them. She wants to be a bully. That's hot. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, you know what he's doing this right now? I'm gonna I'm gonna remind everybody of something of a video clip that I showed you guys in another react where Chantal said she's still so traumatized from what happened to her that she had problems with the guy touching her face. What's he doing? Do you see her flinching? Do you see her looking afraid? Look! <laughs> He can touch her just fine, and she's laughing. She's blushing like a schoolgirl. So you know what, Chantal? I call BS on your trauma. And especially you using that triggering language, trying to act like a victim. You're not a victim. Nothing happened to you, ever. Chantal, you are eating at 3.40, yes. No, no, it's, sorry, 3.42, exactly. AM, yeah. Is there like a specific time I have to eat? 
People are very maybe like, she needs your permission to eat or no. Or, I don't know. Sala, you're being extra mouthy tonight and extra cocky. I don't know where this came from. Just sit back on the couch and look at your phone. Go back to what you were normally doing. <laughs> She's hungry, so she will eat. That's that's hot. Yeah, that Paris hot. Hilton. <laughs> not me. Always funny. Always funny. Not me. Thank you for being sweet, honey. <laughs> You're the Swedish. You want to try it? Okay. No. When, when you finish, it's... they won't fit my hands, will they? Yeah, yeah Adi. Adi. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting full. I seriously doubt that. She's practicing for Ramadan. Them playing reruns is hilarious. I live for that. Don't really realize that they're literally living in the past. Yeah, Ellen. Like. Playing streams from like two almost two years ago. Like who gives a crap? Like I don't know. Hmm. She's practicing for Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, in Ramadan we have to eat very well at the at this time. Before Fajr uh, Adan. Chantal would never be able to do Ramadan uh the right way. She's leaving before Ramadan starts. Who cares? Okay, tip me. So it's okay if she's slightly smaller than me. Number one, she doesn't even show herself on camera. So how? And you know what? You show yourself on camera, but you're so ashamed of yourself. You use a bazillion filters, so you can't sit there and come at the reactors and say, "Oh, they must be ugly. They must be hideous because they're not even turning their camera on." But yet, when you turn your camera on, you're not your real self. You have to have a Samsung phone. You have to use a bazillion filters. The one time you came on camera showing your natural self was the moment that you went on StreamYard long ago. You turned on StreamYard. StreamYard doesn't have filters. You saw what you really look like in the camera and you turned it right off. So, so even though we don't turn our cameras on a lot, we still do from time to time. But even you, when you come on camera, you're not being authentic. You're not being genuine. Your appearance is a lie. You're showing the heavily edited, filtered portion of yourself. Although we've seen pictures of what you really look like, Chantal, and it's shocking. How would you know? Two, it's okay for her to fat shame as a parent who's, I, I really hope your kid doesn't become obese someday because if that's the case and you bully people, Fat people online for a living. I don't know what to say. No words. <clears throat> <laughs> Twenty five hundred FFTs. Bloop. <laughs> Get her, Frenchie. Like, anyways. Not to me. Say the uh, put Harry in the glove. So Chantal, the reaction channels are calling your bluff. You said in a message, if anybody snipes me, I'm going to turn the stream off. A lot of people have called your bluff. You haven't turned the stream off yet. <laughs> Put it in the glove? Mm -hmm. What do you think? That would be cute for a photo. Not me. I have to hit you with this. <laughs> <laughs> because Harry will get hurt. <laughs> oh. If he gets inside the gloves, he'll yeah. die. <laughs> You're very protective of Harry. Yeah. This is a nice quality I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, the rice is hurting. Well, learn to chew your food before you swallow. Don't just swallow it. Maybe it wouldn't hurt. Parmi Par said, look over there, it's a camel toe. Maybe you want to look it? <laughs> sweet vintage Zoe! I like calling you sweet vintage Zoe. Howie! Yeah, Howie. Howie. <laughs> sweet vintage. <laughs> yeah, this is so awkward. They're... Sala and Chantal are both just struggling for anything to talk about to keep the stream going. They... 
this is not they're not even if they, they spend almost three months together and they still there's no rapport there like they don't have an easy time talking to each other it just feels so awkward content on commercials so desperate yeah I guess I'm kind of flattered that I get more views than the Doherty dozen who have way more subscribers than me. Didn't know it was that fascinating to people. <laughs> fascinating. Again, we're just waiting for your karma to show up. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm not student, but I won't get off right now, but I probably like, I will find something else. I don't know. You are cute. <laughs> now this comment from Elizabeth Nirvana says her 2.5k views are actually yours because they're watching you to be honest so what are they flexing nobody's flexing somebody just came in and said hey there's a bunch of viewers in FFG stream bloop <laughs> you know like the thing is if people wanted to watch Chantal on her channel like I said they can go directly to her but people have a choice and they make their choice Maybe there are some people on YouTube that they want to watch Booty, but they don't want to be an enabler. They don't want to enable her addictions. They don't want to enable her ED and make her worse and make her unhealthy. Some people do, some people don't. Some people aren't into supporting somebody doing self-harm on camera, which is what she's doing. And I'll die on the hill with that. She's doing self-harm content and she expects to get paid for it. Some people support that, some people do not. <laughs> not as handsome as you. <laughs> I'm not handsome at all, though. What? But like say, can you guys adopt me, please? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here, old buddy, old pal. Oh my gosh. Not Blacks. me. Runs away. <laughs> Don't run. <laughs> <clears throat> Aisha Salah is getting snipey. I love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because uh, some kind of people, they um, being polite with them is um, useless. Useless. Yeah. What have you ever tried, Salah? I won't dwell on it, but I'll have my savior <clears throat> in there. I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Angela says, Chantal, your cheeks are chubby as hairy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, am I not like hairy? Mm. Like hairy is so cute, guys. Totally fits. <laughs> totally fits. <laughs> he wakes up when he hears me come in the room. In the morning, eh? I'm always like, I gotta go see Harry. I come in and go. When he escaped? When he escaped? Mm. Oh, no, I'll tell him about that. Oh, okay. Now, you know, I had a question about that. If Harry the hamster keeps escaping, how is he escaping? Is he chewing a hole in the bottom? Because hamster cages are pretty solid. How is he escaping? The cage that he's in, it's small and it's got wire bars. So how in the world is he escaping? I know that hamsters can chew through plastic. They got the, the teeth. So is Chantal not securing the door enough? Because it's not that he just escaped once. He keeps escaping. So what are you doing over there, Chantal? We love you, Chantal. I love you too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I come in the room, he hears me. He comes out of his hut looking all asleep. Like he only comes out for food basically and treats. And then he goes You've trained him well. You trained him well. It seems like all the pets that you own, you want them to be like you. Just to fatten them up and make them unhealthy. Right back in his hut and sleeps. <laughs> Harry, no food is coming. He knows, yeah. Missy, do you see how is your foot uh, doing Salah? All healed up? We can say 92%. Um, yeah, it healed very quickly, huh? Mm. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, yes. Thanks, no stone. <laughs> Salah, can you do me a favor? Walk out of the room or go, you know, take a drive or something and let her rage. Thanks. It's more boring when you're there. Thank you, Nastoon. That means a lot, seriously. That's really nice of you. This is why we can't wait until she gets home. Because she's going to be a different person when Sala's not around. 
and she's in Canada and she's able to do what she wants, go where she wants, say what she wants. She's got to watch herself because she's in Kuwait. But when she gets home and she's got those extra freedoms, trust me, she's going to use it. Georgia girl, they keep you relevant facts. <laughs> the same planet. <laughs> um. Aisha, I okay. told you, my guy, about the Beezles. Uh, I was dying as he was reading video titles. So confused, I told him, do not watch not uh, anything that doesn't uh, come from your channel or the cable <laughs> channel. <laughs> What do you do with those? Like, what what is with you tonight, Sala? Why are you like flashing the nunchucks, flashing the boxing gloves? Are we supposed to be intimidated by you? We're not, you know. We're definitely not. This one like to be relaxing, ready first, like yoga, yoga style. <laughs> Kung Fu yoga. Yeah. <laughs> Then, but uh, don't hurt yourself. Well, yeah, I will. It's like when you move it, maybe it will hurt you, hurt, hurt your face. Oh, you have to know how to use mm. them. <clears throat> but did you? Uh... Uh, the, the the most easiest thing to do like this, like this. Then slingshot on, on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Just right on the head. Butt plug, yeah. <laughs> like a ninja turtle. <laughs> you have more support than hate. Trust that ignore game and folk. Yeah. It's just, I mean, people can hate on me. Just don't steal my content. Why? Like, if you're going to hate on me and claim you're more interesting, then use your own content. There's no problem, right? Exactly. If Vlog. Let's say. She hey, Chantal, do you know that I did a new video today? One I've been wanting to do for a while, and I had fun with it about Stardew Valley. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but you keep going live and getting all in the way. But since you weren't doing anything today, I did the video and I just, I was happy with it. And I plan on doing more. So I like it when you take your little breaks. And I'm doing all that kinds of stuff now because I know when you get home to Canada, I probably won't have the break, but I'm doing my own content. I'm do, I've done over 200 ambiance videos that are on my channel. I've done ghost stories. I do my own stuff. She's boring. Why are you watching? And that's true of other reactors as well. My friend Eerie Pepperoni, she's starting up the paranormal live streams, which are very entertaining. Gary Unfiltered, he has the Nutter Butter channel. I mean, everybody's doing different things. It's not that we can't do our own content. It's just that you take up a great deal of time but when you're not around it gives us time to be more creative watching here <laughs> this is the main f a question yeah it doesn't make any sense to us you know what sala what about your own content what about your own content you have a gaming channel where is the gaming content sala where is it at where is the music what have you done yourself individually on a creative front nothing nothing you're using chantal i guess to get attention for your gaming channel although it, that doesn't make sense to me because she's not a fellow gamer and her audience can become your audience you haven't done a single thing for the gaming channel so how is her being around and you being on stream with her benefit you it really really doesn't maybe you got a little bit of coin in your pocket but as far as Boosting you on YouTube ain't nothing going on there. You know how how they can uh, pay their bills, babe. No, they can't. Just breezing, pathetic. Tried to. She's like. Just boozing? She called the cops boozing on me. Mean. Yeah, she called the cops on me. Not you over there, Sala. Talking about how they pay their bills. Not you. Not you. When you subjected yourself to dealing with this demon for almost three months because you wanted your bills paid. You could have gone out, had a regular job, not had to deal with her at all. 
not how to deal with the drama on YouTube, but you did all that for $2,200, sir. $2,200. Bucks. <laughs> Boy, did she totally just cheap out on you. When you think about all the money she paid Natter, she paid you pennies for dealing with her for three months straight. Natter got a lot more out of her and he only had to deal with her for a two days at a time. And another person, MFW, for um, <clears throat> calling her out or talking back to her, <clears throat> saying she looks like Robert De Niro, whatever, <clears throat> or Jay Leno. And like, she lost it and called the cops. Yeah, hi. Um, Like, seriously, call the cops for being criticized back. Like, you criticize people online all day, lady. And then she's like, I'm going to stop. You know, you're over there saying that somebody looks like Jay Leno. You look like the Michelin Man. Y'all Google the Michelin Man. You'll see what I'm talking about. She looks like the Michelin Man. Like the love child between the Michelin Man and the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Go look. You'll agree. Talking about foodie beauty. And then the very next day she had to because she gets like maybe 700 views talking about herself. Oh. Yeah. Uh. She was pathetic. Really. Pathetic. <laughs> Okay, I'm full, babe. Do you want to eat the rest later? Hmm. We used to get, like, this is a huge meal. And then, like, most of it would go to waste if we couldn't eat it also. Mm. I'm He's saying we. That, that meal is for you. He's eating very little. You're going to eat most of it. Most of that food is for you, Chantal. Sharing is better. Yeah. And you like the dark meat? I like white meat, so... Share is fair. Sharing is fair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no thanks. I'm not able to see her in the nightmare I saw in a dream or something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you first saw her face? Totally yikes. She has a double chin, no offense, and she is uh, bullying on Chantal. On my chin, yeah. They call her audience called me chinny when she has, looks like a bullfrog, <laughs> literally. <clears throat> and then, anyway. Oh, so let's forget these people. Yeah. <laughs> let's forget these people. Proceeds to talk about them for the entire stream. <clears throat> um. Oh, Coke better than Pepsi, yeah. Anyway, I just want to say one thing about like the whole meth meth pipe thing. Like, I you mean math math pipe, mathematics pipe? Yeah, that. Nada was over there doing math problems. Yeah, we saw we saw him doing math problems in the kitchen. We saw him. I, honestly, I find it. Oh, there we go. Y'all see that? See. Listen, this is why, this is why people have to stream snipe. This is why people have to record this reason right here. Y'all are seeing it right here. Because if we don't record and if people don't stream snipe, if they don't just try to capture the footage immediately, this is what happens. This is what happens. Foodie will private the video or she'll dirty delete it. That's exactly why. See, she wants us to wait our turn at the table to eat, but yet she forces us to take action immediately. Because if we don't, this is what happens. We can't just wait our turn and go to her channel later and review the footage and react to it then. This is what happens. So I don't want to hear all her bitching and complaining about why can't they wait? Why can't they wait? They should wait their turn. But here's something for you, foodie. Here's something for you. Every time you dirty delete, every time you private a video, all you're doing is making more valuable real estate for the reaction channels. Because if people from your side want to see the stream and you don't have it, guess where they're going to go? They're going to go to the reaction channels, you idiot. And we'll make the money off the stream, but you won't. So again, cutting off your nose to spite your face. And if that's what you want to do, 
that's what you want to do. But this right here, you, you guys just saw it happen in my React video. I turned on the record button five minutes after she started, and here we are. Had I tried to do what Chantal wants everybody to do, I wouldn't have been able to react to the stream. Would not have been able to. But I got it. I got at least an hour. So I guess I should be happy with that. But this is what I'm talking about. So they're telling people, if you snipe, I'm going to cut off the stream. Pe several people started uh, restreaming. She didn't cut it off. She let it go for at least an hour because she wants that Google AdSense money. She wants those super chats. Now it's private. So this negates her argument of they should wait their turn. We're reactors. We got to cover the news when it happens. We can't wait our turn. So there it is, y'all. There it is. Hey, more valuable real estate for all of us over here. We'll make money off her live stream. She's not going to make that much. I love that the most for her. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great evening and please take care. Bye-bye.